call it. How are you all? It's John Rodriguez, Cinch 21 Pinnacle. I'm here with my friend and colleague, Steven Guajardo. He is a civil engineer. And I invited him out today because I've got some clients that are interested in listing their home for sale. But they're a little concerned because they've got some settlement issues um, as evidenced by some sheetrock cracks, uh, some door frames that are not in square, so they got some issues with opening and closing their doors. And so um, just trying to be um, as informative as possible before we put it on the market um, and, and open it up to potential buyers, you know, what are some of the signs uh, or what is, are some of the issues with this house? So um, I had Stephen come out and take a look at it. And so it kind of brings up the topic of, uh, uh, you know, what should homeowners be thinking about if they see some structural uh, signs of structural movement? So my first question for you, Stephen, thank you for being with me today, is um, uh, what are some of the most common uh, uh, signs of structural movement here in South Texas? Well, thank you for having me, John. Um, most of the movement here in South Texas is a combination of soil movement, which is uh, tied to the amount of moisture in the soil, and uh, sometimes can be as, as, as great as poor workmanship in the foundation itself that causes movement. Uh, typically, most of the foundations that I've seen lately have been significantly affected by the drought conditions that we've been in for uh, almost uh, two years now. Uh, this past August uh, has been the hottest and driest August on uh, recorded ever. Uh, so the amount of moisture in the soil significantly uh, affects the performance of how your foundation is. Okay. And so um, if, uh, if a, the homeowner believes they have some uh, reason to be concerned about their, uh, their structure, about the foundation, what do you think is the first uh, thing they should do? Uh, well, as a homeowner myself, the first call I would make is probably to your insurance company. Uh, your insurance company insures your home. Uh, your home being probably the largest investment any one person makes in their lifetime uh, feels very tied to their home. Uh, it's a very big investment for them. So uh, I would make the first call to the insurance company. They could then determine if there is underlying uh, factors that are mitigating the foundation movement, whether it's a leak in the uh, sewer line, a uh, leak in the uh, water supply line, uh, or something along those lines. Okay. Once you eliminate those types of, uh, of questions, then you can uh, seek an independent uh, opinion, a civil engineer such as myself, to come out and evaluate the structure, uh, evaluate the foundation, evaluate the superstructure to make sure that everything is, in, is uh, performing as designed. Okay. So um, uh, knowing that we've had some really dry conditions, um, you know, we know how to... Uh, 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 maintain the inside of our home, you know, keep it clean. How do you maintain the uh, outside of the home? How do you maintain the, the, the foundation? What is the What are some common uh, um, steps that homeowners should be taking to maintain the foundation to make sure that it's, it's uh, um, is in optimal uh, conditions? Uh, well, one of the easiest and most inexpensive way to uh, address your foundation is to put soaker hoses around there. Soaker hoses are a very inexpensive way of maintaining a constant moisture uh, around the perimeter of the foundation. Most of the settlement occurs due to lack of moisture in the soil, the underlying soil of the foundation. Once you start to have the moisture evaporating out of the soil, you start to have settlement because you no longer have water molecules that help support the foundation. You now have air voids. And as the air voids become expelled and the drought conditions occur, the set, uh, foundation begins to settle and therefore that gives the uh, presence of cracks in the wall, uh, doors not aligning, right. uh, the uh, gaps in the soil around the perimeter of the foundation. Uh, that is very important to maintain a constant moisture uh, profile around the foundation and that way uh, you minimize the amount of movement in your foundation. Right. And, and uh, um, being that, you know, out in the field I'm looking at houses all the time, um, I, I've seen plenty of houses where uh, you see gaps between the dirt and the foundation. I would invite you, if you uh, have any question about whether or not you're maintaining uh, even moisture around your home, especially in these uh, drought conditions, go out, pay attention, look at the where the earth meets your foundation. If you can stick some fing your fingers down in there between the earth and the foundation, your your uh, your soil is dry. You need to uh, really seriously think about doing um, uh, some kind of water regimen with using soaker hoses. And uh, for more information about that, about the uh, frequency and, and how much and how long, I'd be happy to answer those questions for you as best I can. Feel free to uh, reach out to me as, uh, as your agent for life. Again, this is John Rodriguez, Century 21 Pinnacle.
Thank you, Stephen, for being out here today. Thanks for having me. And have a great day. If you have any questions about whether or not your soil is dry, I'll show you one test. I should not be able to put my hand down in here, but as you can see, my hand goes all the way down into this, in, in between the earth and the foundation. That is one obvious sign that there's an issue here. So a water regimen should be started with the soaker hoses. And if you have any questions about how to go about beginning a regimen like that, I want you to call me. I'm your real estate agent for life, John Rodriguez with Century 21 Pinnacle. Enjoy your day.